we're back in Wales. Surly boot sale. Let's see what we can find. Yeah. You good? We're just gonna have a look at your Lord of, Lord of the Rings chest set. If that's okay. Yeah. Is that right? Is it? It's all in there, is it? Yeah, you can have a look at it if you want. There's Gandalf. Yeah. Bilbo. How much you? How much you looking for? It? This is a collection. Yeah. Edition. Okay. Yeah, ten pounds. Nice yeah, it looks cool. How much are the linens? Pound each. Pound each? Yes. Sweet. Yeah, let's go for it. Squishmallows, they're a new thing, aren't they? Oh. That's a squishmallow, but it's a machine one. So it's a machine into it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How much are you selling that one for? Uh, £2. £2 for that one? Yeah. Yeah, let's go with that one. Okay. Unless you're buying all of your ones here, look. <laughs> That's what you want, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want any more squishmallows in my house. <laughs> so here we have it. Ten mini squishmallows. As soon as I saw them, I thought, can I buy them as a job lot and then sell them as a job lot? Pound each, it's got to be money in that. And then she put this in my hand. It's a pusheen with tags on. This is actually called a pusheenicorn. If you don't believe me, there it is. Two quid for that one. The last one, pre-owned, sold for about 15 all in. Her hunter wellies here. Decked. The old Jurassic Park leg poking out there. Pretty sweet. Just a dinosaur, please. Oh, uh, was that from the bag? That was from that bag, isn't it? Uh, I was going to do the whole lot for two pounds. You just want that one? Just that one, yeah, really. Um, 50p? Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. how's it going, right? Yeah, good, mate. What size are they? Oh, tens. Yeah, UK ten. Yeah, it was my brother's. It was. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So they tried to smarten him up a bit. He wore them out once or twice, and then back to the Crocs. Eh? Back on the Crocs, is <laughs> it? Yeah, he loves his Crocs. Man, everyone loves Crocs at the minute. Yeah. Like everyone. Yeah. <laughs> How much you want for for the vans? Um, fifteen. I was saying. You want for a tenner? Yeah, if you want, yeah. Tenner? Yeah, I'll take a tenner. Yeah, let's do it. Let's have a look at the Wii remotes. We got, we got the Wii thing, actually. The Wii oh, have things. you? Yeah. yeah. Are you, you're just selling it all as well, are yeah. you? Yeah, yeah. How much are you doing it all, all for? £20 for the bundle. If you were interested, you could have my number, just in case I know people are going to buy you. Nice. Well, it's all part of the fun, isn't it? I could give you my number, so, um, yeah. It's my nan's it was, which is stuff. She's trying to be a bit more active, bless her. Got ya. For them, she's... Because uh... it, it really, if I'm honest, it was just these I was after. Oh, right. Just no, them I two. Want they, they, you want to all get wanna, it gone? Yeah, I want the whole thing to go. Got ya. Got a couple of wagons here. Backman. Anything the auction today? Hornby. Oh, no, stop today. That's it. Oh, isn't it? Yeah, right. yeah. Okay. Oh, right. okay. yeah. Rest assured they are. Yeah. It's got to yeah, make sure that the wagons are the ones that are in the boxes. Let's have a look. Hey, how's it going? Not too right. so bad. Not too so bad. Excellent. I could do with a hot dog and a coffee. Oh, tell me about it. <laughs> Bacon sandwich right now. Good on well, isn't it? Don't, 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 don't use them. How much are you doing your Five each. wagons? Five reaches, eh? Boxes are a bit past it, but they're mint inside. Six all together there, all Six or thirty. Yeah, there's some backman ones in there. Brand new, those things are twenty-five quid now, aren't they? Yeah. The rest of the is, is a rare limited edition, I'm told. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah. So you got three. We wouldn't do six for twenty-five? Fiver each? Because um, that's half what they are on eBay. And they are in mint condition inside. That's one of the boxes though, isn't it? That's all the collectors, one of the boxes. Alright, I'll have a fig. 
I'll have a think. So we just watched that footage back then. This bloke, this bloke is right in my head. So for a bit of context, a couple of weeks ago, I bought some Volkswagen camper van money boxes off him. No markup in it. I've palmed them off on my mum. I bought a styrofoam musical instrument, got it back here, didn't work. And then I bought loads of little weighed whimsy figures for a tenor, all of them bust. Now, let's let's just put that to the side. I paid what he was asking for him. I should have checked him. It's all part of the risk or part of the game. Get that. But what it's telling me is when I go to his store, I'm nervous about it and I'm not expecting to get a deal. Now, if I hadn't have had that experience before, I would have just bought all six of them wagons straight off the bat, 30 quid. Five of each? Sounds like a pretty good deal. And then he started to tell me a few stories about them, but I know a little bit about double O gauge trains and it was all just total So that just sets the alarm bells ringing. But the best thing about filming everything I pick up is I can walk away from the store, check a few sold listings and make an educated decision. And actually I did pick up a couple of wagons off him just get him out of the car. So I picked up these two Hornby wagons. First of all, that rest assured one, it's not limited edition. It's nowhere near 65 quid on eBay. There are none listed on eBay and the last one sold for about 15 quid. But because this will be the only listing, I'll charge a premium for mine. And then I picked up this golden shred one. It's just a recognizable brand. People will want that chugging along their track. Some that's a bit relatable and different to just your traditional wagon. But now I'm thinking I should have bought them all. He's in my head, he's in my head. Between his legs there, look. That's bits of an old Megazord. How much are you selling there? How range are bits for? Um, I was gonna ask a tenner for him, but if you wanna make like a little pile of bits and pieces, because I don't wanna take anything old. You got, you got yeah. That, uh, tenner if you want. Yeah. Oh, there's tons of money in that, isn't there? You haven't got the, I haven't got any others. Do you know what, they're is the it? last ones. Was it? Yeah, like I had, it was like, full but there this morning yeah right? it, and i only just dug them out about 10 minutes ago because i forgot i even had a room either. yeah yeah because he should have a black one with him that goes on the back um if you mean? want to make a pile of bits and pieces i can do something for you like yeah okay yeah i'll get you into stuff like that what even is it what is do it you know what i don't know like it's a lego box what here What about them four for a tenner? You want to check out as well for tenner? Yeah, I go just on. don't want to take anything more myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 A couple of other bits I didn't get on film. Grand Theft Auto, Vice City Stories, PSP. Paid a pound for that. I think the Platinum one isn't particularly good, but this original one, with the map and the book, that's worth about a tenner. This is quite cool. I think it's from Monsters, Inc. Disney store stamp on the back. That one was 50p. And I can't come to a boot sale without getting a monster truck. Ford, full ball. That's boot sale number one done. Now onto my little local school one. I'll tell you what, didn't expect this. It's actually busy. Gecko? Pascal, that is like a Disney one. Pascal? Pascal from Tangled, yes. Is it? Yeah. Well, there we are then. From the Disney shop. Three pounds we're asking for that because he's a Disney shop one. Disney original. Pascal. Like no, and there's no... Hey, look, look at their masics down there. Okay. Yeah, sweet. How much do you want for your runners? Um, two pounds. Two pounds sounds great. Yeah. Oh, I mind you, the shoe's two pounds. Yeah, this is busy making... Where's Boise? He'd be deep diving through this, wouldn't he? Crocs. Have you seen them? <laughs> yeah, worn around the edges, mind. Hiya. How much is that? 50p? 50p sounds good. Oh, hang on. I can't be giving away my Paddington 50p. Let's have a look at those Tintin books. They caught my eye. How much is that? How for? Tintin books. I've never thought about reselling these whatsoever, but she had a bundle of seven and one out of fiver. I had a sneaky check of sold listings, and if you bundle them up right, they can do pretty well. So I will be looking out for Tintin books in the future. But also she had these four mugs here. She only wanted a pound for all of them, 25p each. I know absolutely nothing about them, but for a quid, it's a cheap way to do a bit of learning. And those mark the end of the second boot sale. 
Let's run through some eBay sales. And the first sale, shout out Ricky Lee. I sold a pair of used Sony earbuds and it's only down to Ricky that I bothered listing these. I bought a Sony Walkman, that's what I paid the money for, four quid and it come with the original earphones. I threw these in the bin and just focused on the Walkman. Ricky got in touch with me and was like, what are you doing? Get these out the bin, get them listed. These sold the next day, 45 quid. 45 quid for used earbuds. Now I get it, if people have already got a Walkman and they want to complete the original package how it came, they might need a pair of original earphones. But I put them in like the bracket of used flip-flops and sandals in that kind of thing. 45 quid though. I have thrown out three or four pairs of these before. Maybe not this type, but definitely earbuds because I didn't think anyone would buy them and I am regretting that big time now. This is a good little brand to look out for. This die-cast Michelin Trek is by Joel. I'd never heard of it before, but Chris jumped in the comments last video and said they're a good brand to look out for. I didn't expect much from this one, to be honest. Wing mirrors are bust. A little bar on the back is snapped off and these little hydraulic pieces, they're all bent. So I priced that up cheap. I priced it up for a tenner plus postage, thinking it would hang around for ages. I only paid a couple of quid for it. Sold within half hour. Massively underpriced it. That is a brand to look out for, Joel. And two brands everyone's familiar with, Duplo and Disney Cars. And when they mix together, you can get some decent results. We've got two cars, there's Lightning McQueen and there's a yellow one in there. And you've got Mac the truck. He's incomplete, doesn't have his little cap, missing the bit off the back. Doesn't matter. As a bundle, that's gone for £18.50 plus postage. I love this toy. I think it's massively underrated. Baymax. I just love the proportions, really poseable, like his style. It doesn't stand up very well. He's really top heavy. All of these bits keep popping off. That hand fires off, so I'd imagine that gets lost pretty easy. He just looks neat, doesn't he? But he's only gone for £12 plus postage. The value isn't there, but he's looked good up on display while I waited in to sell. Let's shift some bulk. Spider-Man, Titan figure, £8.50. A pair of playing cards. I only bought these because they've got the Queen's logo on there. Thomas Delarue. Never heard of it. Gone for eight quid. I sold some Clark's Velcro shoes. These are proper granddad shoes, right? You can imagine your feet swell up so into the Velcro. You get the picture. They have got Gore-Tex on, so they're not messing about. 20 quid all in. Some Hoover parts for 12 quid. I tell you, this channel is rock and roll. DC Comics Bombshells, Catwoman Funko Pop, Chase Edition, £8 plus postage. Crocs. Crocs are a big deal at the minute. Pretty small size, only paid a couple of quid for them. They have gone for 12 quid all in. A couple of pairs of clothing now. I've got these champion shorts, size large. They've gone for 12 quid as well. And then this Heli Hansen jacket. This is going global shipping over to Spain. That's gone for 17 quid all in. In this bag here, I have got... 23 die-cast Thomas the Tank trains. They're by Ertor, not worth selling off on their own. The characters aren't that rare and the condition isn't there. Big job lot, 23, gone for 25 pounds for postage. And finally, I sold my Snoopy and Woodstock Build-A-Bear. There's their little Build-A-Bear logos on their paws there. I traveled around Newport for about three hours sourcing and didn't find anything. I popped into my local favorite charity shop on the way back and I found Snoopy for a couple of quid. Goes that way, doesn't it, sometimes? And he has sold for just under £30, all in. So that's a couple of boot sales done on a Sunday morning. Should be on by half ten as well. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Shout out Jawbone, first comment our last video again. Wednesday, we'll be out in the charity shops. We'll see what we can see. Catch up with you then.